Okay, ladies. Now, now let's, let's get, get information. information. That was actually really good. That was not nearly as terrible as the first I take. <laughs> um, so, okay. Please. let's get down to business. To so, defeat the Eric's! Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I anyway, know, right? like I'm super clever today. Like, so if you people are, makes me smart sometimes. If you people, that's a very bad. Let me start. Don't start it out like that. If if you guys have been paying attention to Twitter or to Glitchy's earlier video on my channel, on her channel, um, which we will link in the description. Sure. I don't. Um, I've got like. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done this, so I'm not like at all prepared. Um, this literally is a very much impromptu thing, and I know that's what we say in, or uh, well, what I say in a lot of my videos also. Does this piss you off? Does this make you angry? Does this hurt your feelings? Does this make you fucking rip your dicks off? I'm touching my hair. Oh my god. Also, look at my fierce ass claws, bitch. Yes. I don't know, I was really proud of okay. my fucking nails because I actually did them, and like I did a design or something. So, if you paid attention, to Twitter today. Shit or if you've has watched, gone down. Yeah, and if you've watched um, Gucci's earlier video on her channel, you'll kind of get an idea of what was going on. But oh, no, I'm going to full hmm? idea of what's going on because, like I said, I went off. Yeah. Because one of my biggest things has always been do not fuck with my important people. Don't fuck with my besties, don't fuck with my kids, don't fuck with my man. You will get my rage. And some shit has gone down, and it's actually kind of been going on for a little while. Um, it's been going on for nearly two years, if you think about it. Actually, it was just a year. Cause oh, if just I read, a year, really? Yeah, I read back, and I met him in October um, of, of 15. Really? Mm -hmm. Shit. It was either se late September or, early, uh, or October sometime. Um, I think it was August. Was it? Mm -hmm. Then it Surely probably after is. My birthday. Then it probably is almost a year. Um, mm -hmm. But before we get into that, I want to start kind of at the beginning, <laughs> um, like pre this debacle. So Book my the beginning, like there's a million beginnings. My beginning, or my beginnings, my experience in relationships is shall we say, limited. Um, because I live in the asshole of the South. So, I have never actually had a... He likes the pee -pee. Well, yeah. Not pee, -pee um, as in urine, he likes penis. Yes. And I have actually never been in a face-to-face -face relationship. Um, except the one time that I had a girlfriend, don't ask. That was a bad idea. It was a very confusing time for him. Um, yes, it was. I thought I was bisexual. Apologies to actual bisexual people. It was a hard pill to swallow. Sorry. Um, but... Well, being, being with the fact of where you fucking grew up and your situation with your grandmother and how she is and, like... It's half of the of family, under, yeah. Yeah, more than half of your family. It's more than a little understandable why you tried to deny who you were. But that's a whole other... That's a whole other kettle story. of burnt-ass fish heads, like... But that's a little bit of background to explain that, you know, I'm not at all really experienced in relationships, and the ones that I've had have been long distance, and one of them in particular was not at all healthy. Um, but... Now, before you continue, I'm, I, I'm interrupting, and I know I am. I'm sorry. But I feel the need to state that I am the best friend in this situation. I am the fag hag, and to me, fag hag has always meant that chick who is best friends with gay people, who supports them, and, you know, whatever. It's never been a derogatory thing to me, she, but apparently there's a derogatory thing about it. She is the Karen Walker to my Jack. If you know Will and Grace, you understand. Oh, there we go. Okay, yes. But um, a lot... No, actually, you know what? I really was her for a while there, back when I was younger. And if you don't know what that means, go watch Will and Grace, because it's amazing. Oh my god, please um, go watch Will and Grace. That was one of the fa my most favorite fucking series to watch. Is great. Okay. Um, and I'm Karen. I dig I'm Karen. Wait. I digress. Um, <laughs> Did I just say Karen? No, yes. wait, isn't Karen the one that's, like, the really fucking annoying voice, and she's, like, an alky? 
Yes, but she's also the most hilarious she's character. She's so on the show. fucked up, man. I really liked the other one, Jack. Jack is the one I was talking about. Yeah. He's such a fucking flavor. Um, but anyway, mm -mm. so Glitchy is very much the best friend in this scenario. She has seen everything because she was sort of included in a lot of it. Um, I and I'll go into very detail. much included in a lot of it. Like I said in my the video on my channel, I was included because said person that we are about to fucking unleash hell upon made sure that I was consistently, continuously abreaved of the situation, I, along with my bestie. And was I comfortable. Am. And was comfortable and included, which I thought was a good thing. I to thought be so too. Because we are very much a package deal. It's one of those, we're like love and <laughs> marriage. Dad. They come together and you don't get one without the other. Exactly. Well, unless you don't like marriage. But anyway. I don't like marriage. I, dig I digress. Um, I'm not saying that I don't like gay marriage or anything like that. I just don't think marriage should be legal. Straight, gay, lesbian, what the fuck ever. I don't care. I don't think the constitution of marriage should be legal. That's a whole other fucking video. Yeah, that's a whole other fucking video. Mm -hmm. Um... But, anyhow, um, we're very much kind of a pair. Um, to the point that the people that we used to hang out in a group, which one of the females was Satan's toilet. <laughs> I said that in my other video. He fucking loved it, so I'm using it again. Yep. <laughs> this chick was more of a slut than Kim Slutdashian. Like, it, well, and she was... Very... We'll get it fucking fucked up but we had this group because we played a video game and they all came together through internet and social media and we all and i'll kind of get into that a little bit more when we go into the actual story mm -hmm. um but i wanted to make sure that you understand that my background in relationships is limited and there were things that i didn't pick up on that i should have and there were things that i ignored that i shouldn't have um, and, and that's my bad. And just like with what he's saying, I have a, unfortunately, lot of experience in relationships. I never could find somebody for the longest fucking time, for the longest fucking time. I was even married. I had two kids by this person, and I got divorced. Happily divorced. Now, the people will come in and say, oh, you got divorced because you're such a fucking bitch, or such an ugly fucking whatever. No, I They can, they can fight me. Bring it, bitch. I left him because he thought spending $60 on a fucking doll, and yes, I know it was actually a fucking model, but I'm going to call it a doll just so you can rip your fucking dicks off in your age, was more important than spending money the money on food for his children. Which okay. really... Along with the divorce, he should have been castrated. That's just oh. me. Um, I was not allowed near sharp objects. <laughs> Do you see the fact that I talk with my hands? I was doing dishes at one point. This is really quick. I was doing dishes at one point, and he decided he was going to fucking continuously talk to me, and I even, even though I told him to leave me the fuck alone. And I didn't want to talk to him at the point. So I'm, getting, I'm angry. I'm whipping a fucking knife around in my hand because that just happened to be, honestly, what I was washing at the time. <laughs> I was washing the cutlery. So I'm fucking, I turn towards him and I'm just like, you need to get the fuck out of my motherfucking face. Honestly, I don't know how I didn't fucking cut my damn soul. Or him. I wish I had. Honestly. <laughs> Leave him a scar to remember you by. Oh. Why did I just sound like a pirate? That was really weird. Not really sure there, darling. It was more of, he's got enough emotional scars for me because he thought he could do some shit. To me, yes. but it failed. Yeah. Anyways, my thing is, I've been in a lot of relationships, failed, successful, and whatnot. I should have seen these signs, but at the same time, I didn't want to see the red flags because I didn't want to cause strife in case I was wrong and in case this guy was the do-right guy that we originally thought he was and then he was going to make my bestie happy by getting him a little swizzle stick up his ass. Well, and there were easily explained away things, too. Exactly. Uh, like the fact that it was long distance, we didn't know what was actually going on, so it was easy to believe 
what we were being told. Okay, and before anybody gets freaked out, we're naming names. Because, frankly, I don't normally air my laundry like this. <laughs> but, but no fucks are given this day. Um, yeah, but we're going to pull a leaf out of Jesse Smiles' book with Mr. Zabala. And also, just a side note, side note really fucking quick. Fuck you, Mr. Zabala. Stupid bitch. I okay. think whenever I talk about Jesse, I get her fucking accent. Okay, now that just think. Okay, so basically... Some names will be named, others will get very colorful fucking nicknames, like... Yes. Um, on frame. So, I guess the best place to start would be that I went through a period of time where being single and having no general prospects in my area because I live in a small town um, in the asshole of the south, I hey. just sort of... Hmm? I said Texas. Yes. Um, I, I just corner, sort of figured that eventually I would get out of here, and eventually, maybe then I would meet somebody. But until then, I was pretty much screwed. And Which I still... an acceptable thought process. And I'm still kind of resigned to that, but this, on the bright side, has actually... alleviated that a little bit. Because I realized a few things while this was going on. Um, but basically... I was on Twitch TV with my bestie, Me. and it and it just so happened that my bestie was watching a channel that I had watched a year before, before and her and I with for certain reasons. Before her and I had even actually met. Um, Go figure, small world, right? Like, and on this particular night, she was watching them and she was loving it, and they were playing Warframe. Which was a game that I had looked at on Steam numerous times, but never actually played. As had I. And she was talking about it, and she had become friends with some of the streamers. Much to um, my chagrin later on. And one of them we're actually still friends-ish with. Yeah, he's uh, fine. Yeah. But... We're not here to drag those people. Because no. there would just it would just be way too much drama to have those people back in our lives. They're not the good kind of, not the decent guy that we're okay with. The other but people. the others. They're kind of supporting characters, so we'll call them <laughs> They really are, call, honestly, they're background characters. We'll call um one mundane and we'll call the other one thinks he's a piece of fruit. Yeah. Or we'll just call him Apple. Um Celery, yes. Um, no, that's a... Mm. One is celery, the other is ginger. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. So, celery and ginger and I had known each other for actually going on three years by this time. Um, I was not a part of this. this because, was because prior to this, I had helped with charity live streams through another person that was an extended friend of theirs Ugh, that I was friend with who is a crazy fucking hoe bag and I'm not Let's even gonna call go. her Squawky <laughs> that is so fucking not even shut up <laughs> let's call uh, her Kim Kardashian's floppy vagina that's too okay. long. Let's just call her Nibbles. Because, I don't right, know. There you go. I mean, she's but constantly nibbling for attention. I worked with Nibbles for a period of time on these live streams because I felt like using video games to help people was a worthwhile thing. Yeah, um, I agree. All I did, because my internet is slow as shit and I couldn't actually stream myself, was... I was doing the social media aspect. I was making sure that the streams were tweeted out. I was advertising. I was making sure people knew that this was going on. I was moderating in the chat, sometimes spending, staying up longer than I should have to cover for mods who could not be in the fucking chat. Um, Which shit happens, but... And, yeah, and, and that all kind of happened... 
before I disengage from them. Before um, I use the picture. Yes. And I'm so I pleased with my fucking self right now. And I disengaged from Celery and Ginger because <laughs> I forgot. I had noticed a sort of tension, I guess you'll say, between them and, and between Maple. them and between them and them and their viewers and Maple. Um and and it was unsettling to me. I'm not really comfortable in situations where there's a whole lot of negativity and tension. Um, I'm not. A fuck are we best friends? <laughs> um, but because I mean, we're not always negative people. To be perfectly honest, I know how no. we come across, but we really aren't always negative people. And I'm hardly ever angry or upset, really. Which, to I be mean, I'm really may... honest. That's true, and I'm really fucking surprised that we're making this video. And you're gonna see in this video that I took a lot more than I should have from this guy. Um, because I am very understanding, almost to a fault. Well, practically to a fault. Um, but basically, but I disengaged. I, I guess disengaged from Ginger and Celery. And then on this particular day, um, Glitchy was watching Celery and Ginger on this new channel that they had that they did not have when I knew them originally and I didn't actually realize it and frankly by this point I had forgotten about, about what had the gone on and shit and reason he left yeah. now mind you I originally became acquaintance acquaintances acquaintances slash friends over twitter and whatnot with maple which is the guy that we're okay with yeah. Then Maple and I kind of had a falling out because there was just a bunch of drama that I was not down to sit around for. He was having some personal issues in his life, and it was difficult for him, and it's understandable. Um, but but I was not the person to come to right. at that it's... point in my life. She she was not equipped. No offense. No, none taken. I wasn't. At at that point in time, to deal with that. And I totally understood, of course, I was ringside seating for what she was going through at the time, so, you know. Um, and one of the things that my that Phoenix has an issue with with me, and I will fully admit that he has this issue, and I know he has it, and I accept that he has it, is that he thinks that I drop people too easily. In some okay, cases, wait, I'm, wait. Not, I'm not trying to say that you've done anything wrong. Like I, There no, are some no. cases where I do. I feel like I need to preface this mm -hmm. by saying I don't think that she drops them too easily. I think there are times where she's too quick to judgment without thinking about the true. fact that it's not intended how she took it. This is true. This is very true. There's and I am very much the devil's advocate in this situation. Other <laughs> factors going into why I'm the way I am? And you're totally entitled to that, right, but no, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to like. I'm not trying to like make you look like a bad guy or anything. I'm just saying right. that for me, I had to because I spent so much of my life being a human carpet, being the understanding one. That's how I ended up with the fucking ex-husband. Okay. And frankly, as friends, we accept the good and the bad about each other. We really do. That's why we work so well There's together. There's a whole lot more bad about me that he has to accept that I don't understand how he does it, but okay. Well, I have my, my moments. But, oh, I know. Um, <laughs> nah. That sounds like I'm taking a dig at you, but I'm not taking a dig at you. Yeah, no, I, I think it's fucking hilarious, and I commend your fucking skills. I would give you a medal if I could. And, um, so basically, Glitchy just happened to be watching it, and I had forgotten. I'd yeah. What had gone on, and I didn't even know that they had the new channel. So when she mentioned the channel name, I was like, "Oh, I've never heard of them before. It sounds familiar." Yeah. Because just... part of the name had Ginger's screen name in it, mm -hmm. and part of Maple's screen name in it, mm -hmm. which I didn't think about. Which honestly, um, I thought was kind of fucking catchy. And it was a great marketing tool, to be mm -hmm. honest, because um, it combined both of their viewerships. But I digress. So she linked me, and I started watching, and I had forgotten all that would have gone on. I'll say that four more times, I guess, by the end of this. 
Uh -huh. Plenty more times, which is perfectly fine. You sometimes you need to forget the drama. You need to forget the people who caused the drama. That that's okay. Like, well, and I have a I have a hard time unless you really, really hurt me or piss me off. I tend to forget things. I don't stay mad at people very I easily things because it's healthier for the other person. Um. But know. anyway. I think my boyfriend has turned off the air conditioner. Oh, hell. I might have to kill him. My face is getting very hot. You, one thing you'll notice about me, my dear viewers, or our dear viewers, is the angrier I get, the redder my cheeks get occasionally. Mm. And, but if I stay one certain color, and I'm supposed to be angry, run. Yeah. Just really run. Because when this stops moving, somebody's going to die. Somebody's going to so, get a frying pan to the face. So, Glitchy introduced me to the channel again. And I was thinking like... nothing of it, because I didn't know. Well, and my thing was, I'd forgotten all of what had happened. And I was like, oh my god, I remember these guys. They're awesome people. Yeah. You know, and so, so I... was like, I, oh, my bestie endorses these people. Shit, I'm in. And so I messaged them in the chat, and we got to kind of reconnecting, and things progressed pretty quickly. And we got they... to be in touch blatantly played it off like nothing had ever been wrong in any way, shape, or form. And my reputation, and this is not me being conceited at all, I pride myself in making sure my reputation is relatively spotless. Mm -hmm. So they knew but I didn't did. cause... I don't know how to fuck we besties. But I they, knew, they knew I didn't cause drama. They, didn't, they knew I didn't, you know, do anything. Whereas I was the spasmatic, loudmouth bitch that they adored because I brought controversy. In a positive manner. And so the two of us kind of eased our way in, and we met... I crashed and bashed in cannonball style feet first, screaming and this caused us to the world with a fucking sparkler in my ass. And this caused us to meet Satan Swedwick, which we did not know was the barrel of crazy that she was at the time. Um, I had sneaking suspicions that she was Satan's toilet from the get-go. But she was... Also very nice, and she hit it well for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but then she started to try to tell us different things separately. Hang out with one over the other at different times. Because honestly... And there was conflicting stories and things weren't adding up. And then we started to notice that there were things that she was saying that were blatantly not true. Exactly. Because we could verify the information. And then there's the third party... And the fourth party, and then there's also, well, there's the third party, which is Kenny, which is, we he's fe we featured him in a one we, or two of our other videos. He was supposed to be here with us tonight, but unfortunately, we're pretty sure the dude fell asleep. I don't even get to tell him his nickname. He's up. And we met him through, later. Later on. And later. let me just state that Satan's, like, Satan's toilet stuck her claws in to him. And, and, and fucked she, him over. And that ended up backfire in her face, because now he's our friend. Mm -hmm. um, and she's wherever the fuck she is, probably sucking some dick for money. <laughs> probably. Um, but basically, we started hanging out, and I don't know, it was probably late August, maybe early September. Mm. And it was before it was before my birthday, and this guy that I'd been seeing in the channel. In Ginger's channel. Well, Ginger and Maple's channel specifically. The joint channel that they had together. Yeah. This, this guy that I had been seeing started flirting with me. And flirting now. Flirting heavily. Like this. I'm a fucking. Like, yeah, blatant. This was blatant flirting to the point that I, in my infinite fucking ditzy self and spasmatic ways, understood that my best friend was being flirted with by another man. Now. Now, she actually had to tell me this, because I am notoriously oblivious. Um, well, when you go for so long without being flirted with because people are too stupid to recognize how fucking glorious you are... Eh. I, I'm notoriously oblivious, and she's like, he's flirting with you. And I'm like, really? I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, yo, now obviously I can't touch my bestie because my bestie's in another state, like 1,700 miles away, or some shite. I don't know how long away. Eh. But it was basically one of those, bestie... Bestie, yo, man, me flirting, flirting. There is a tail in the air and dick waving around. Yo, 
And and I had to get confirmation from Ginger, Celery, and Maple because I was like, wait a minute, I know I'm not fucking imagining this. This motherfucker and is flirting with we. Mother all four of them started flirting. I mean, no, not started flirting. They all four realized that he was flirting with me. I was going to say, wait a minute, huh? And confirmed it. And so, even though Satan's toilet was flirting with him... She wasn't fucking flirting with him. She was flapping her fucking blue waffle in the goddamn breeze in his yeah. fucking face as much as she possibly could. Um, she was which, goatseeing her fucking asshole towards him as much as she which could. Which he, was, he wasn't buying it, which I thought was actually... He wasn't of... buying it, and he was flirting with you. Which I thought was actually kind of charming, because... Exactly. I'm, I'm sorry, that's, I... that's kind of fucking charming. That's, like, that's, that's charming. I He's had never had somebody, like... Chick. I had been with guys who had flirted with, like, everyone equally. And so if somebody flirted out with them while they were flirting with me, he would flirt back. Um, and so Which I wasn't expecting... Do, and in some regards, it's fine. And I, I don't have any problem with, okay with I don't have any problem with flirting at all. You know, it, it's harmless. There's n unless you're you know buying what they're selling. Mm. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, if you're taking, you better not touch. But anyway, so he starts like heavily flirting with me. We're talking over private message that night. Keep talking. And I'm going to step away for one moment because I'm gonna fucking turn the air conditioner back on. Okay. And then the next night, he messages me again. I'm in the channel. We're um, in a private message while we're watching. And I have downloaded Warframe by this point because he plays too. And he's a like pretty high-level character. And so he's like, you know, I'll teach you <sighs> everything about Warframe and we'll hang out. And, and so was a large period of time where I ended up closing off from everybody because I have the problems that I have and I needed to remove myself or I was going to be causing, be the person causing strife and I didn't want to be that. And so she, as she kind of pulled back, I well, started... Everyone, kind of, including my bestie. Including me. Um, I started kind of getting more attached, I guess you could say, to Eric. Because he... Oh, we have already brought up the name? Wait, did we? Yes, we did. Yeah, we, we already did brought it. Never mind, I'm stupid. We, we were very... Um, there was this... There magnetic... was a fucking tectonic magnetic... It was... I, I never Gravitational felt... planetary pull between these two. It was fucking palpable, people. And... Like, our freaky fucking darlings. This was a palpable real fucking thing and it freaked me out you can ask he was me. terrified he didn't I know what the fuck to do it. and I he resisted did he it resisted it for as long like as I could trooper. manage I was like I don't understand this I think I'm like this is not this doesn't make this sense this isn't me I don't I know not, him I you know, will tell you flat out that I might have been a horrible person and taken full advantage of making him freak the fuck out because it was the most funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I have well, never seen this man be so fucking frazzled and out of control in my life. I've never... There have been things that he's spazzed out about or things that he's geeked out about and whatnot. There's been, there's been situations where he's gotten excited. This was a full-on fucking I shit you not. Oh my god. What do I do? This was a princess fucking like, diaries. I was the grandma like making everything okay. I was the butler. No. <laughs> anyway. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know where I was going. I, I, I was the fairy fucking godmother. He was Cinderella having a panic attack and... Eric was Prince Charming. And I just... I've been a cautious person ever since my failed abusive relationship, mentally and emotionally. Um, I have sort of been very hesitant to dive right in until I understood... Which is a respectable thing, to be perfectly honest. It's good to take your time, but it's also in... Take chances, make mistakes, get messy. Yo, Miss Frizzle, still love you. And I have a hard time unless I can kind of feel out a person and understand the kind of person they are. And that's the thing. He seemed a certain way, but he was also very unreadable. 
And this became more apparent when he got on Skype with us, which was hard due to technical issues and various other things. There was a but, whole fucking shit ton of fuckery that went down, including Satan's asshole blatantly fucking saying all this filthy ass dirty shit about him in the chat. In front of me. In front of my bestie, in front of me, the bestie. Knowing full well that Eric couldn't see what was being said. Because he could only show video and see video. He couldn't see text. Yeah, and he could only see our videos if he called one of us first and the other ones added him. everybody else in the call. No, no, no. It yeah. was, he had to call oh, one of us. Oh, he had to call us, and then, yeah, everybody else and had to be added. Then the one he called had to add everybody else in. And it was the most bizarre fucking thing. But with Skype being a piece of shit, I... It's understandable. It's understandable. Not um, not enjoyed, not respected, not wanted, understandable. And what was really strange for me was that when I got involved, when I saw and spoke to him let's over just, Skype... Let's, let's just preface this by stating he's gorgeous. Yes. And if Which, he ever sees this video... Fuck you for being hot and using it against other people, you bitch. Fucking Lucifer was the prettiest angel, too. And look what that got him. Um, I, I'm, you know what? I'm not Christian, but that was a great fucking that analogy, really so I remember analogy, that. So yeah. <laughs> but the first time I saw him over video and heard his voice, the magnetic no, feeling... look on his face. Now, he gonna kill me for this. I love you, bestie, I really do. But one of the cutest fucking things I have ever seen was how much this motherfucker drank every time That's that bitch spoke. <laughs> my mouth was fucking dry. That's what <laughs> all the and blood rips out. And let me also state that my bestie's a spaz. Not nearly <laughs> as much of a spaz as I am. But the fucking sheer amount of smooth ass fine motherfucking flirting that this bitch put out had me swooning a little bit. Like, and what was bad was it was entirely involuntary. It fell out of my God. face before it even That fucking... was the beautiful thing, people. That was the beautiful thing, my freaky fucking daughter. It was so It was easy. involuntary. It was so easy. That's it was, it. it was easy. This is one thing that he and I talked about multiple times. It was so fucking easy to flirt with this man, to be you in his hear... presence. You hear in romantic comedies, people say, being with you is as easy as breathing. I shit you not, interactions with Eric were that easy. Oh, by the way, his fucking and it uh, scared name me on Warframe to death. and Twitch is Obliminal. Um, yeah. He's Valkyr or some such on Steam. He's yeah, V-A-L-K-I-R-E. Yeah, Valkyr. Um, I think I might have called it Valkyrie in my uh, channel. It frightened me he was on a cellular level. I'd never seen my bestie scared. And I was, it was, I couldn't have controlled it side note, if I wanted to. Really quick, I know, side note, as a timeline kind of point of view thing, Alex, or Phoenix and I have known each other for two, no, four years, remember? Because oh, Zoyaz yeah. and I have been together for five. Holy Christ, next year it's going to be six. Yeah, so some of the timeline with um, <gasps> Average and them kind of got... Ah! <laughs> you said gingers! Shit. <coughs> <laughs> okay, Ginger, ignore that please. Um, the timeline with Ginger and Maple and everything kind of got a little muddled because this happened a bit ago. And I'm not remembering everything quite so clearly. Because it's been a while. And it's been a while. And, um, but when I tell you that this was as easy as breathing, I'm not kidding. And I couldn't have stopped it if I wanted to. You did want to. You tried to stop it. And I tried to be the supportive person that let him try to stop it. Well, and she kept head, me grounded like... for a lot of it. She kept me from... Even though I didn't want to keep him grounded. I I was so supportive of Eric and my best friend being in a relationship, being a couple, that I honestly... And I honestly thought that he was a good guy for my bestie. I and thought that, honestly, I thought they could get married. 
And looking back at it, it was a good thing for me to fall so hard for this guy because now I know what it feels like. But it was also a bad thing because I gave my heart away without even trying to. And it just, like, fucking... Talking about it, I'm feeling all of that shit all over again. And it's fucking scary. Um, but... That's in how it is, though. Like, but in the conversation... But in the conversations that we had, there was not very many of them over Skype. But uh, they were meaningful. Yeah, and in between them, we were doing things on Curse Voice while we played Warframe together. I and, was on dread for that too. And Glitchy was very much the... Like, he was sending her messages about me. In a good way. It yes. was like he was interested in me. That's one thing that pisses me off that has truly got me fucking like heated to the point now, of face and, and this is something you need to make note of if you're taking notes. He, this is the first line of mixed signals that he gave because he was talking to her and Satan's Toilet both. Yeah. About how interested he was in me. And how about... he wanted to take things slow, but he wanted to move forward. But he didn't want to fuck things up. And he told me that he wanted to move slow because he had just gotten out of a bad relationship. He said this in front of all of us. In front and of all my, of us. And my thing was, that's fine. Because frankly, I was frightened by my feelings for him anyway. And slow, as much as I wanted to like go zoom, zoom, super fast. Um, I think you said I at also, one point, talking about this in the past. I also knew that, like, objectively, it was the best idea. Mm -hmm. And and even I had to put the brakes on what I wanted to see for my bestie. Like, I wanted yep. my bestie to have, you know, the whole shebang. I wanted there to be, like, heavy flirting, maybe some dirty talk, maybe some exposed peckers. But, uh, you know. And he lived in Alabama. Fuck you, Alabama. So he actually wasn't all that far from me. Exactly, like, he wasn't that he, far away. It he was, was a reasonable goal. He was far, don't get me wrong. South Texas to Alabama is a ways. But it could have been further. Okay, ladies, now let's get information. Mm -hmm. Literally, so, like, Texas to Alabama, I got... Beyonce. So basically, um, we start playing Warframe and talking on Skype. And for a good portion of this time, I'm not really in the scene so much because I'm trying to avoid celery, maple, and ginger. And Satan's toilet-ish, sort of. Um, Honestly, but... there was a whole lot of trying to avoid Satan's toilet, but the bitch would buy us stuff. And I know this sounds fucking terrible. I know this sounds shallow. But when well, she wanted to be... Like, when she wouldn't take no for an answer... She she was very much a sort of person that she hid the crazy by being overly nice. Exactly. She would buy you gifts without even asking. I don't ask other people to buy me things. I don't. This is something you I need to I try not to. And, like, stuff. if I actually ask for something, generally nine times out of ten, I'm joking. Unless yeah. it's, like, my birthday. I'm the same way. You know, I'll say something like, oh, I wish I had the money for this. But yeah. it's just a genuine, genuine statement. Yeah. I wish I had the money for this. Speaking not... of, I was talking to Kenny, and I asked him earlier today uh, how much Borderlands Preschool was on the fucking, like, Humble Bundle, and he was like, oh, it's $15. And I was like, fuck my, uh, fuck, or like, fuck my life for always being broke. I wish I had the money to get that. And out of, like, I wish I had the money. I wish I had the money. Like, I wish I had 15 fucking dollars to throw away on a game that I've been wanting for a long ass time. And what does he say? Well, I'd buy it for you if I wasn't about to spend $200 on a, a phone. Like, why would you buy it for me? You owe me nothing. Like, right, exactly. And that's my thing. Nobody owes me anything. Unless I exactly. do a service for you. Like, if I make a piece of artwork for you, but then you the owe way, me. He's taking commissions. Yes, I am. I'm doing abstract stuff. But that's another video. Um, <laughs> so, she was kind of... She had me fooled. Because... She had him fucking fooled. She I was, was not. Nice. She was very nice to me. Um, and she was nice to Glitchy when we were together. Um, Let me just tell you. 
and I've had to be a fake ass bitch in situations throughout my lifetime. I can smell that stank a mile away. And let me just tell you, babies, ladies, gentlemen, freaky darlings, little children, there should not be little children watching us. Alarm bells were fucking ringing, okay? I knew that she was not right. And I didn't say anything. He I, didn't I got fucking an have a problem. Well, I, I didn't have an inkling because, aside from her flirting with Eric, which technically he and I, I weren't actually an item. Which he reasoned that out and he made it like that he was okay with it. I was sitting there like, no. And, and no, my no, no, no. thing was... Satan's toilet does not need to get the fucking chance to flirt with Eric because Eric is your potential boyfriend. Like Because he made I it clear... I was mad for him. Wanted... He made it clear that he wanted to go slow. And slow that... Slow doesn't mean stop. Well, and... And that she didn't comes... get that. And that comes later. You know, he said with me that, you know, we weren't anything official, but he was interested. Very yeah. interested. And he made messages to me about the fact that he had strong, positive feelings towards Phoenix. So, I... He also did this to Satan's toilet. Why? I don't know why I keep doing this. And everybody else noticed it, too. Like, it was an obvious thing. It was a blatant thing. And then, here's the real fucking kicker, to be perfectly honest, in this whole fucking thing. He bought my best to ESO. And I'm getting to that. That's oh, okay. jumping sorry. down just a little. I'm sorry. I'm. Um. But. I'm having a. I didn't moment. say anything about Satan's toilet because I didn't want to mess up, the dynamic that we all had going. Because she was really good friends with Ginger and Celery. She was trying to take my spot in the fucking hierarchy of the friendship ladder. So fuck off. I hate and, her. And frankly, I didn't want to show my ass in front of Eric. Because, the, it, because at, that, like, at that stage, we didn't have proof. Yeah, and it was still... We didn't have unequivocal, uh, unequivocal proof. And he and I were still in the getting to know you phase. But this is where things started to take a turn, and I should have noticed from the get-go. Um, when we got together... Well, not together, together. When this whole thing started, um, he told me that he was working as police dispatch. And I said, okay, that's fine. And he had told me that he wanted to do nursing as a career, but he was doing this to save up money because he had a degree in criminal justice from when he was in the military. It all checked out. I kind of understood. He was from a military family, so he said... Um, and he frequently liked to call me ma'am. Which... While well, Glitchy hated it, that's a, that's a southern thing that I don't think she quite understands. People no, I completely understand it. I don't accept it. It's bred into us. I don't accept it. Don't uh, call me ma'am. Cue people in the comments if they actually fucking get the fucking cojones to leave a fucking comment. Call me ma'am. You know. So, he said that he was trying to get back on patrol. And there was a period when we first started hanging out with him where we played Warframe like every night for a week. And then I didn't see him literally for two weeks afterwards. And it got to be around Christmas time when he finally came back. Mm -mm, no. no, it was like November. November, oh. Because the second time... Right. Okay, so okay, in November... I'm just going to shut up as much as I possibly can. When he, when he came back in November, he had said that he had gotten really busy and that he was trying to find a nursing school that he could go to and that he was going to be in the process of moving soon and just work had been busy. And, and the multiple he had women given... that he lived with as roommates were really into making him drink and watch movies with them. I just remember that. And, frankly, I kind of feel like one of them was his girlfriend. Because he he told me he was bisexual. Which, I don't have a problem with that, as long as you're interested in me. Like, I don't care what your sexual orientation is, if you're interested in me, and you're trying to get in my pants. Like, I don't care. I don't care any I don't other time. Care, right? 
I don't care any other time either. But, like, I'm not going to be upset with a bisexual person if they hit on me and I'm like, ooh, you've been with vagina. No. Like, that yeah, doesn't not, matter. That's not how it works. You know. I you just should have personally state that if I ever got, like, if boners and I ever split up, and, like, I got with a bisexual dude, I would literally be like, please, tell me how many how many dicks you have had in your asshole or how many assholes have you had around your dick. Graphic details of this. Because so, I'm that kind of freaky little bitch. He had told me this, and I was fine with it. I'm still it. talking. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> and now I kind of think that his one of his roommates, at least, if not more than one, um, were sleeping with him. Um, but he went through this long period of time where... We didn't see him at all, and he was basically rationalized it that he hadn't had time to be online. And I said, that's fine, I understand. Because I was going through some things with work at the same time that were causing me... So was I, actually, because I was working at the same place. Yeah, we were working together at the same place. Um, Which, it was amazing. And it was around that time that tensions started to get worse between... Celery, ginger, maple, Satan's and toilet, ginger. and maple. Mm -hmm. And us. And us, yeah. Tensions kind of got higher, but for the next week, we played Warframe, which is really fucking fun. I haven't touched it since this whole incident Neither have I. happened. But it's really fucking fun. It's um, been tainted, and I still don't know how to leave a dojo. But it was one of those things where for the next week, we all, like, played together. Jesse, fuck, Satan's Toilet was with Kenny at this point. Yes. And Kenny we were meeting him. comes in at some point whilst I was on another hiatus. Because, yeah, like she, I said, I was, was so fucking, I was hermiting, honestly. I was so fucking done with Satan's asshole. And I was kind of done with the fact that my bestie was not admitting that she was a fucking whore. Like, he was, he was being so and, nice. And now, like, and you gotta understand, I don't I felt like she, I felt like she who was, they sleep with and what they do. I felt like she was trying to take my place, and I was just like, I'm gonna cut this shit off now and just be gone and be miserable by myself because nobody loved me. Well, and my thing was... <laughs> she was, though, if you think well, about it. Well, Glitchy didn't have anything to worry about, because Glitchy will never be replaced by anybody. She didn't fucking get that, and she still I didn't get, get it. that. I don't get it! Fuck off! I am not. But anyway, um, so I don't, I, I, I don't begrudge anybody for their life choices. But we started seeing the lies piling up and the inconsistencies piling up. Let me pre and preface or post is whatever the fuck I don't know. Let me state that if you have sex with multiple people, I don't care, as long as those people know about it. If they're all happening at the same time. Or... Someone, they're not married. Yeah. There you go. Or they're not parents from kids you teach at a school. Um... Huh? Jesse worked at a school. Fuck! Satan's ass! Oh, no, Satan's toilet. You gotta stop she, doing that. I know. We literally I'm, went for so long without you not, like, name-dropping. I'm tired, I'm man. I know, I know. I, I'm losing it. Um, but honestly, Satan, like, so asshole, mom. worked at a school, and she told me a story about <laughs> her fucking little parents. And I must have been away for that per you period. Are. Oh, so, like I said, like we said, I was hermiting for a long while because I was just having a lot of fucking issues, and I was not able to handle the fact that I was literally seeing Satan's asshole pulling all the shit that my mom pulls and pulling the shit that I pulled when I or well attempted to pull in certain aspects when I was a teenager and I thought I was hot shit. And in this period of time I became friends with Kenny because Kenny is fucking awesome. Kenny's um, fucking hilarious. We didn't we realize with a nickname for him by the way. Kenny the Kill Bear. Kenny and we'll Kill explain Bear. that here in a minute. We'll, we'll explain that here in a minute. Um but uh, Kenny, we never actually explained why we're making this video today of all days. I'll get to that. Okay. Okay. It, it's on the plan. It's on the list. We're um, fucking forty-nine minutes in, by the way. Oh fuck me. Um. So. AKA, I interrupt my best friend when we're tired too much. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get this to like a part two section. 
pretty quick. So basically, what happened was tensions were rising, and I became friends with Kenny, and everything was fine with Eric. Um, to a degree. To a degree. I was starting to feel a little bit cautious because of the fact that he had spent so much time away, but it was easily explained away, and we were still learning things about each other, so I understood to a degree. And I was being supportive in my own way. I was being and supportive we, for one thing because I wasn't tearing Satan's asshole a new, or Satan's toilet a new one. And that's where we're going to leave the first part of this. Because we're going to do another one back to back and we'll post it back with back. this one. But it's just easier for it to be in two videos. It's easier because we talk way too much. Yeah. Alright. We will see you guys in the next video and we will get to why we are making this video, these videos today of all days and why I made mine earlier on my channel and what's going on what's and... going on what led to all of this and why yeah so and also the whole thing with the video game that was bringing up so if you're not watching these back to back consecutively have a wonderful day mm. and we'll see you in the next video